My name is Meredith Thompson. Um, I was born in the Grove. I think I started experimenting with drugs because of a rape that I had went through in uh, 1986. You know, it just took over my life. You know, from 1995 to 2000, I, I lived for cocaine. That was my sole purpose. I didn't eat, you know, my lights would get cut off, my water would get cut off. Um, it was even at one point where my mother, who was on drugs, called Child Protective Services on me. I got up in the morning, I would go to the hole, get me enough powder to last all day, and I would basically sit there and get high until my girls got home. You could tell when she was like high because she was just Picking like sit and, feet and, and, and just like running. sit and ignore us. Like yeah. it, it was like she wasn't really there. She was there, she was there but, but she was her mind was, was elsewhere. Place, yeah. yeah. Ashley had even got to the point at, I think she was about eight years old, she knew what food stamp day was, and when food stamp day would come around, she wouldn't go to school, because she knew if she went to school, when, I, when she came home, there'd be no food stamps left, because I'd sell them. Yeah, and we, like, keep, like, spare change and stuff, so, like, if worse came to worse, we could buy a loaf of bread and have peanut butter and jelly, or mm -hmm. get flour and make flour bread and stuff like that. And the night that um, I decided to get clean, I was sitting in the house and I was thinking about suicide because I was actually tired of getting high and I had tried and I couldn't stop. And I was thinking about, you know, I just need to put myself out of misery because it's not fair for my kids. It's not fair that I take them down this road. And my daughter walked in the room and she says, Mommy, I love you, you know, and I just broke down crying. From everywhere that I've lived in Atlanta, Orlando, and Fort Lauderdale, being poor in Miami, you get a lot more help. The HANDS program is a, a program that helps people that are close to eviction. They pay your first, last, and security. And uh, our family had applied for the program since October 7th. So hopefully we'll have those three months work free. My husband, he, he has a clean background for the last 11 years, but <laughs> After 11 years, you know, he's got eight felonies. With me, I don't have 10 year work experience, you know. So it's real hard for us to get our foot even on the ground to make it. He found a job in the end of October at Toys R Us. So things have been, you know, pretty good because like I say, the government gave us the 300. So really we only had to come up with half the rent and then the light bill and the phone bill. Hopefully, be able to get us a house. That's one of me and Rick's biggest dreams, is to own our own home, you know. Um, be able to help my children out instead of having them help me. I gotta study tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday, because I got a final Tuesday. My mom, even though she was on drugs, like, they always you know, told us, you know, we didn't have a choice on going to college because we were going to go. It's not a matter of if you want to go, but you need to better yourself in life so you don't end up in the same situation living in low income housing. And, you know, it just motivated us even more like, OK, we're going to college, you know, because we can do better in college. Yeah. I know we headed for the top because we've been to the bottom.